We're going to start with the world's best women in the lineup. We've got an incredible round of 16 for you. We're going to start it off with Joanne DeFay and Brisa Hennessy. This is going to be a great match. Go back and forth with priority. Here's the first wave ridden of the day so far here at the Corona Open Mexico. Presented by Quicksilver, it's going to be Francis Joanne DeFay. And that just means more fun for all of us surf fans watching. And here goes Brisa Hennessy on her first wave, a nice opening series of turns. And these early heats in the morning kind of give us the opportunity to really study, do our homework as to what we'll see for the rest of the day. You can see where she took off a little bit further down than where Joanne was at, but the big turns on the outside. I really liked her read after this cutback. There was a moment here where she cut a maneuver short, that one, in order to generate speed and make it out in front. Even with cutting that maneuver short, Chris, she was not able to get out in front. You can see how that maneuver, she came up behind it, and it put her off tempo for the inside second. Lots of waves being ridden, back-to-back -back efforts by our surfers. Let's see what this one does on the inside. Joanna Faye, nice section to work with there. Another big snap up into the lip. So from that first set, it looked like a little bit different of a section on that inside. It wasn't dumping on the shore pound like we saw yesterday. Joanne, on the other hand, less water on that sandbank, allowing that wave to get more of a coping. Big maneuvers on the outside, never slowing down. This section was the one that Brisa had to actually cut that maneuver short on and generate speed. Joanne, on the other hand, was able to link it beautifully all the way to the inside and finish strong. And with the takeoff, it's Brisa Hennessy just up and out real quick. 34 to go. Well, the official call has been made. It is on, but for me, it's not official until we get word from Strider Wasilewski in the lineup. Give us your take on this beautiful morning at Barra. It comes in hard. I piled out dry hair, but then there's, you know, solid eight-foot waves coming in on the face. Joanne DeFay, look at this nugget. She's coming around the corner. Let's see what she's got on the inside, Chris. Bam. Strader just got a bird, a front row seat to a giant spray coming out of the back of that wave from Joanne DeFay. He's looking very confident. Sitting on a 583. This wave running nicely across that sandbar. And we'll see uh, what the inside section is looking like as this thing is just cupping nicely down the line, giving her plenty of opportunity there. Another beautifully ridden wave from Joanne DeFay, currently sitting in that world number two spot, looking like she's gunning for a world title. Yeah, she wants a spot in WSL Final Five. She is looking so good. We're not seeing those kind of fast waves running away from surfers on the inside, actually allowing them to do something good on the inside. Joanne. Great wave selection. She's looking to back up her 5.83. I like how she takes her time, not really forcing the issue. Eyeing the section. A little bit soft there on that maneuver, just making sure that she can ride it on through clean all the way to the inside. That's a tricky thing with this wave, Chris. You don't know when. What do these surfers, when they see a wave like this, well, there you go, Risa Hennessy answering my question for me. Brisa right up into the lip. Power snap, driving down the line, setting things up. Can you imagine the view she has right now? This beautiful bar of wall speeding away right in front of her. She's perfectly in the pocket. Another big car. Waiting for this wave to form out through to this inside section. Love what she's done so far. Decision time right now. What to do on the inside? Kicks out. Yeah, you could tell she was kind of building up for a big finish there, but the wave just kind of ran away from her at that very inside section. But what a takeoff. That was the most committed opening turn we've seen yet. Or do I take advantage of this big section coming at me? Big crack there for Brisa Hennessy. You can see how she's always looking down the line. You know, she's, she's pushing hard on her surfboard, getting close to the white water. And this part of the wave, was a little bit more juicy, had a little bit more vida and a little bit more life. It looks almost like the, the bigger set waves. That's probably the biggest wave we've seen ridden yet. Not as critical of a section to work with down the line. Is that just because it 
broke further out, maybe past that sandbar a little bit? You know, it's, it's really hard as we see that big, beautiful bash on the outside from Brisa, the local from Mata. Now Brisa, who's sitting in second priority, needs a 5-1-6. And it looks like she could be activating on this wave. Good looking wave for Brisa. One of these kind of medium insiders and up and out. Wow, I thought that wave, just judging by the size and the way it was glassy when she was taking off, I thought it was going to do the Barra thing, the nice little hook horseshoe kind of going against the surfer. But Joanne de Fay, who had priority, smart. We need a 5-1-6. It looks like she's shooting for that goal right now. A couple big turns on the outside section. This one could have a good midsection for Brisa Hennessy to work with. Brisa surfing for Costa Rica, uh, living there part-time, also living on the island of Nomotu in Fiji, as well as Hawaii. Basically speaking, she's living the dream, and she's now surfing really good Barra de la Cruz with three other surfers in the water, and that is something that would never happen unless you were in a professional surfing contest. But he caught the third wave of the heat, which was way, way better. And speaking of priority, Brisa Hennessy did not have it, took off on this wave, only so much better than the previous one. It lined up beautifully through that inside section. Big jam, laying back on that midsection of the wave. Connects with the lip. This is maneuver probably number six or seven. So as far as picking good wave, and was able to put a lot of pressure on that tail pad so she wouldn't nosedive. So that was a wow moment for that wave as we see Joanne up and riding. Now back to heat one, Joanne DeFay is surfing for a six, seven, five. It looked like she was in control of this heat until Brisa just dropped the hammer. But 607, adding to her 69, puts her in the lead with a 12.97 total. Now Brisa's out the back with priority. And you've got to finish strong. As we see now, Joanne DeFay trying to catch up. She's looking for a 675. Smaller looking wave, but it could have a good line through this inside section. Yesterday and the day before, we saw some meat coming from the scores through this inside portion of the airdrop. Brisa Hennessy now finds a clean open face to work with, carving back into the white water. So in the offense, so impressed so far with what Brisa Hennessy has done. She was not shook one bit by those two big opening scores from Joanne de Fay. It's a nice closeout bank to finish that wave. So not a super long wave, but some impactful surfing. She's looking to improve on a 6.07. Compare that wave to the wave that gave her that 6.07. Right there. Not above and beyond, but kind of right in the mix. Here's a cool angle of that late drop, so no problem for Brisa Hennessy. Nice, clean crack on the outside. Looking down the line, the wedges. You can see how the wave kind of backed off midway through her turn. So she was smart to kind of apply the pressure towards the beginning of that maneuver and then release and the first time that we've seen in the entire event secondary heat and she has a better two wave score than joanne de Fay, who is in the primary heat let's see what joanne can do on this one answering back joanne de Fay setting things up with that first turn this wave starting to bowl out a little bit through the mid portion until she's kind of waiting trying to see what this wave's going to do for her now it's starting to grow and run down the line. Some intensity. And just, she seems like she's waiting for it. Now it goes up in the lift. That Big power snap to finish. Yes, a well-warranted fist pump right there from Joanne DeFay showing some emotion. She needs a 6.75. Loved the finishing maneuver. Did she do enough on the open face of that way? It was a little sloppy, the wave itself, not her surfing. It was just a little bit too murky and weird. You can see how as she takes off, the wave completely runs away from itself into the white water. So thus far, looking very similar to her previous ride, nothing exciting. But as she stalls, she sees that something is bowling up and this wave got better starting through that midsection. Big, clean, open face crack, a nice carve still. She's not satisfied yet. This is what she wanted. That big, massive maneuver on the inside. That is why she is stoked. Now, judges paying a lot of attention to that inside maneuver, but outside, there wasn't much. So it's gonna be interesting to see where this lands. Three, two, one, it's done. Heat 16. 
Or round 16, heat one, Jean DeFay, representing France, number two in the world, gets the win and she'll be moving through.